What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today you guys might be wondering Hey, yo, Spanko, where are you? What are you doing? What's going on? Well, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm giving you guys a little YouTube studio slash welcome to my crib or YouTuber cribs. I think that's what I'm going to call this segment. YouTube cribs, Yugi tuber edition where Spanko, aka me, I will be showing you guys my room, my recording setup and all of that just so you guys can get an inside look at what a Yugi tuber's recording space, what a Yugi tuber's studio will look like. Now if you guys enjoy these kind of vlog videos, let me know by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Also I've never seen this done on YouTube before with like a lot of other Yugi tubers. A lot of them don't give you that insight on like how they record, what they used to record and whatnot. So if you guys want to see it from other Yugi tubers and other content creators, make sure to go on their channel and tell them Spanko is asking you guys to see what your YouTube cribs looks like. Maybe we could provide a little bit more insight to the viewers because I know every single time I post a video or most times I post a video people ask what do you use to record and how do you record what's your setup looking like etc etc so this is kind of my way of showing you guys hey look this is my personal space I'm bringing you guys into my own personal bubble showing you guys what I use how I use it how I make videos for you guys each and every day I should also mention before this video gets started if you guys want some cool amazing comfortable Yu-Gi-Oh merchandise go check out Pharaoh Tom's you can use my affiliate link it's at the top of the description below if you guys use my affiliate link you'll get 10% off your purchase or if you go on the website and use the code spanko10 Yes, Spanko10, you'll get 10% off of any purchase you make, and they ship pretty much worldwide. So if you guys can check out Pharaoh Toms, it will help support the channel, support your boy Spanko. It'll also help the brand grow, and honestly, that's what I want to do here. That's what I want to bring. I want to bring a community. I want to bring people together. So check out the affiliate link in the description below. So pretty much I'm going to get started right now. I'm sitting on my staircase because I need a staircase down to get down to my room. But I'm sitting on my staircase right now, and I'm going to show you guys what my room looks like. I'm going to show you my recording area and my studio area last. I'm gonna show you the rest of my room. You guys can get an inside look of what I, how Spanko is living like. So to start off pretty much, I'm just gonna turn the camera. We have some stairs, so we're gonna go down some stairs and you guys are gonna see a wall with a backpack. That is a backpack I don't really use, but I saw a little hanger there when I moved in. So I was like, you know what? Let me put that backpack right there. This is garbage. There is recycling, and there is my laundry that I still haven't folded, which I will fold eventually. That's also my laundry basket where I put my dirty clothes. That room over there is actually just a storage room, so I'm not going to be taking you into that room. Actually, okay, you know what? We'll check out that room first. There's not much in it, so you guys won't really see much in it. See, there's like just a, a big space right here. Wait, if I turn on the light, you guys will see I store all my extra utensils, all my Zara bags, because I like to go shopping apparently, and apparently add Zara. So I store everything in here turn off this light and then from there i'll actually show you guys my washroom and this is where i kind of hang my towel when it's wet so i showered not too long ago so it's still kind of wet i just hang it up right there i have my little cupboard area with all my deodorant my shaving equipment my hairbrush whatever whatever it's all in here i got my mirror so if you guys can check me out oh my god i'm looking sweet okay so let me tell you guys the camera i use right here is a canon t5i it is the camera that I like to use to record. The quality of this camera is insane. All my videos I feel like are really good quality and the reason is because of this camera. Yes, it was an initial investment. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was an initial investment. But I'm gonna tell you right now, forget the camera, the most important thing that I recommend if you guys ever try to start your own YouTube channel is a mic. This mic right here is a Rode mic. I can't remember the exact name, but it is a Rode mic and it does a huge difference when your audio quality is really good. So here is my mirror as well as my sink. I just have hand wash there. Everything else is over there, so it's not usually on the sink. And then I'm charging one of my razors so I can just, you know, trim up and shave up. But I look pretty good right now, so I don't need that. I got my own toilet and yeah, I mean, that's as exciting as it's gonna get and my own shower right there. Okay, so this is the washroom, it's not that nice, but we are gonna take you into Spanko's walk-in closet. Yeah, this is Spanko's walk-in closet. So as you guys can see, I set up all my shoes up here. I'm actually wearing a pair of my shoes, so you guys probably can't see that, but I set up most of my shoes up here. Over here is where I have all my clothing. These are my hoodies. So I separate everything usually from like t-shirts to hoodies to jackets. I'm also wearing my jean jacket right now, so you guys can't see that. And then the top part is supposed to be down here, but it's just unorganized and messy right now. When I take off clothes and I'm just too lazy to hang it up, I'll just throw it up there. You guys can see over here, I actually do have some shoe cleaner 
because I like to keep my shoes kind of clean. Every once in a while, usually once a week, I'll take this out and try to clean my shoes. And that's pretty much it for my closet. The thing is, this is really low. Standing up, I'm actually taller than this thingy. Yeah, six foot gang. But um, so basically when I have to go down and grab stuff, I do kind of bend over, which is kind of unfortunate. But I mean, what can I do? The, the place is, the rent is pretty good here. So I didn't want to not pick it up just because of a little small closet, right? So that was my washroom. That was my storage area. Let me show you guys the real cool areas of my room and the areas that I pretty much spend all my time in. Okay, so start things off. We have my desk. It's a pretty basic desk and a pretty basic chair. Honestly, when I moved in here, they gave it to me for free. So I was like, you know what? I am not gonna say no, I got a free desk. And I have my drawers, I just have my school stuff usually in the drawers. So as you guys can see right here, I do have a little pullout where I have my playmat. If I ever like to organize cards on my desk, I will use my playmat. I don't like to use it on the regular things just cause I feel like it'll ruin the sleeves. As you guys can see right here on my laptop, I am playing TFT. I am gold one right now in TFT. I'm trying to hit plat soon. And speaking of trying to hit plat soon, I actually have a goals board right on top of my desk that I can look at every single day. And so if you guys can see, I've been preaching this in every single one of my videos. 10,000 subscribers on YouTube is my goal for the end of 2020. I do want to travel a lot. I want to own and invest into my own real estate. So I really do want to do that. Here is the platinum logo because I want to get platinum in both TFT and in regular ranked in League of Legends. I want to hit platinum on multiple platforms on multiple queues. So I want to do that. Here is a little Mario, Dr. Mario. The reason I have this actually is because I am applying to medical school. And so one of my goals is to become Dr. Spanko and soon Dr. Spanko will be on my board hopefully enough. And lastly you guys see a picture of me on top of Santana. If you guys don't know that's a JoJo's reference. All the JoJo characters are really strong and really muscular so pretty much this is my uh, fit goals for the year and I'm trying to go to the gym every single day to end up looking like that hopefully and that is the goal. The rest of my desk is pretty basic. I do have my creatine as well as my oxy shred right there. Those are just workout supplements that I use. This over here that I'm pointing out right now is just something to make the air smell better. Some paper towels if I ever need it. I have my Herschel bag that I wear if I'm never wearing my backpack. And then if you guys don't know me, I do like my jewelry and I do like my bandanas. So I have my bandanas right here that I wear once in a while. I do have my jewelry. My watches are right there. All my necklaces and whatnot are going to be in one of these little jewelry boxes. That's just actually just a small white box that I put all my silver in. All my gold is in there. My cologne, my wallet, my keys, my glasses right there. Can't forget my AirPods because we are not broke out here. We do not use wires in 2020. AirPod game for life. Okay, so moving onwards, you guys see my regular school bag backpack right there. Oh, I should I should also show you guys. I think I forgot to show you, but I do have a backpack right here. This is the backpack that I usually use for Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments or whatnot. I usually take this backpack and this is the backpack that I usually take to school. I got this little Boruto right here from Japan that I have connected on my backpack. I always carry this around with me. Just some nice, some nice memorabilia from Japan. I do have my Canon bag. That is the bag for this camera as well as my switch box right there. I also have my pencil sharpener over there just because obviously I'm in school and I need to sharpen pencils. Yes, we use bottled water. Trust me, I do have I do have a bottle that I actually like carry my shaker and stuff in. I don't use bottled water all the time, but sometimes it is pretty clutch to have it in your room. The environment, I know, I'm sorry, the environment, I promise. But the recycling is right over there, so I'm kind of doing okay, right? Okay, yeah, blessed. So as you guys can see, the more we move this way, you see my switch right there, the more we move into the studio. So I'm gonna leave this area for last, and we're actually gonna make a little 360 over here. And this is my bed, it's a queen size bed. I do have my little nightstand right there. It is a queen size bed that I just, you know, it's comfortable. I like to sleep in it. They provided me the bed frame when I moved into the mattress. Everything's mine, but they provided me the bed frame. So that was kind of nice of them. And in here, I'm going to show you guys a little sneak peek. I have a binder and I have some OTS packs. If you guys can guess what this is, let me know in the comment section down below. This is going to be a video for another time. This is a brand new binder. I just bought it actually. And uh, I will do this video another time, but I have it in here stored away locked away and you guys will see this video soon enough okay so all this and you're like spanko where is this studio that you were talking about all you wanted to show us was hey where do you record what does your setup look like all right finally guys the end of the video i'll be showing you guys what my studio looks like and where I record and how I record. So we just stopped off at the bed, right? Okay, cool. So as we move right, we actually do see my YouTube area right over here. As you guys can see, I have my big tripod that I usually put this camera on and I'll usually record my openings from over there. I have my light. I know it's not a crazy ring light or anything. Sometimes I'll position it depending on like the sun and like the window and depending on how the lighting is. So I'll position it accordingly. Over here, I do have a background to my videos. This will slowly be updated as we open more packs 
packs and more sets because I actually have not opened that many on the channel before. So what I'm going to do is every time I open a new set, every time a new set comes out, I'm going to buy some packs and we're going to fill up this wall, hopefully all of packs. So this is going to be the pack wall. Hopefully we end up filling up the pack wall. The pack wall is going to look really cool once we get it filled up. I feel like every time we add a pack, it's going to look even cooler and one step closer to being complete. We do have an OTS bag right here. I'm pretty sure these are common in any OTS store, but I don't know, Untouched Gaming one and I was like, this would look cool in the background. And then we do have a legendary collection, um, Ancient Millennium, I think, or a legendary duelist Ancient Millennium. We got this poster randomly from one of my locals. I don't know, I can't remember exactly how I got it, but I ended up getting this poster and I'm like, this would look cool in the background as well. So I put it here on this side. And lastly, I have all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards organized right there in deck boxes by color is what they are. The reds, for example, are traps. Each color has a certain thing to it. I think the pink one is like Link Monsters. I have Synchro Monsters in there as well. And I have Ixies Monsters and whatnot in there. So I know where all my cards is. I know it looks messy, but trust me, it is organized and like I know where my cards are. As we move closer here, you guys can see that Time Thief deck profile that I did for you guys last week. That that deck is right there. I build the decks, I put them away afterwards, unless I end up playing them. And I do have these little white boxes over here that I use for bulk. And that's pretty much like every time I get bulk, every time I get commons i'll put them in there and store them up that way also if you guys can see i'll show you guys real quick if i move this i have these tins shout out konami for these mega tins man these are the craziest mega tins ever they fit the cards so much better than the old tins that we used to get as you guys can see i have them organized by deck cores i have them organized by foreign cards i love me my foreign cards so i keep my foreign cards in here these are all deck boxes but again these are what I use to actually play. So I think this has Altergeist in it. I think this has Orcus in it. If you guys want to see actually how I organize and some tips and tricks to organizing your own cards, let me know in the comment section down below because maybe I could do a video like that for you guys. How to organize, how to keep your things in check. And lastly, over here, we have my Switch that I play once in a while. I honestly got this. Play Shield, Finish Shield. And if I'm not doing raids, I'm not really doing much on it. I do have my binders right here. This is my band binder. So I'll show you guys real quick what it looks like. It's just a bunch of band cards, Maxis, Gofus, whatnot whatnot just all the banned cards every time cards get banned i'll put them in this binder and every time they get unbanned i'll take them out usually whatever comes out of this binder ends up making me a lot of money because i fill it up and then when it gets unbanned all the cards shoot up in price make a lot of money and then these two are my trade binders over here but i did not want to leave you guys off like that so what I did was I have nine packs of Rising Rampage as well as three packs of Mystic Fighters that I'm actually going to open up for you guys right now to end the video off. I know I could have just ended the video off by showing you guys the studio and doing my final remarks, but I did want to do something cool for you guys here. Also, I don't think I have either of these packs on the pack wall, so I'll end up putting these onto the pack wall and adding to that, making the background look even better. Okay, because I only have the one camera, I'm going to use this camera for my face cam and I'm actually going to use my phone to record this pack opening i'm gonna do a quick pack opening here we'll start off with mystic fighters the only reason i just want to get mystic fighters out of the way there's nothing crazy that i really want in here i know the generate field spell isn't bad so if we can pull that that would be okay math mech multiplication super rejuve monster gate dragon mage downtime and geo math mech final sigma that's pretty good i mean i guess that's not one of the, that's one of the better secrets i think and then we're gonna go into the second pack over here the only thing i really want to be honest with you is from rising rampage i want to pull an apollo i don't have one myself the one that i've been using for deck profiles is actually my friend's my friend alpha is actually the one that's letting me borrow his apollo so hopefully i can pull that from rising rampage jinzo nice super rare as well as nidhog generator boss of ice i'll actually just put the secret rares over here to the side so i'll put the secret rares over here for you guys to see i'll just put the super rares away and then last pack of mystic fighters hopefully we can pull something good i think some of these super rares are actually going to go up in price uh waking the dragons is one of those ones that i think could be pretty good it only has this is only its third print i think it was the common then it was a calamity it's a good super rare by the way uh it was a common and then an ots super so this one might go up uh generator boss quest i don't think this one has too much value but we'll put that over there laundry dragon maid so that's it for the supers over there for the mystic fighters now rising rampage can we pull an apollo all right by the way you guys can see here i'm not taking it off camera to freaking rig it i know people always are like oh like if you took it off camera he's editing no i'm not editing anything well i am editing some stuff but we're not editing this so onslaught right here defender of the labyrinth white aura monoceros whatever and future vision so that's our rare and that's our super we will show you guys the commons right here real quick. I don't want to take too long in this pack opening. I just wanted to see, like I had these packs and I was, I won them from locals actually. And I was like, you know what? Let me take these and open them and see if I can pull a prismatic Apollo. Uh, fortunately, we didn't call it. That's actually an ultra rare. So we did pull an ultra and then Nathana for our 10 
I wanted to pull an Apollo and I need to pull an Apollo. Uh, IP I think is in Chim, so we can't pull IP in here. But Apollo is one thing, or any Prismatic. I've never pulled a Prismatic. Mm, I think that's a lie actually, I lied, I lied. I pulled a Prismatic in our case opening for Untouched, but I've never pulled my own Prismatic, I should say. So I was like, you know what, maybe I can pull my own Prismatic, but I mean, we're only pulling super rares apparently. So that's it for that pack. We got, I think five more packs over here and then I'll end the video off. And I'll show you guys me probably putting the last two packs or these packs over here on the wall because as you guys can see the wall behind me is not full but I want it to get full. We have Ikelos, Dream Mirror as well as uh, one of these Wing Beast rares. It was It's actually a pretty good rare, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I played it in some Morgue if you guys watched my Samorg deck profile a while ago. I think some Morgue will get better once they get their Link Monster and we get it here in the TCG. I know that once that comes out and Union Carrier comes out, there's some dirty plays you can make where you summon like Miss Valley Apex Avion and you have unlimited negates. So there's that. We got Dream Mirror of Terror, Star Power. I've been holding these packs for a while, not gonna lie to you. Cause I was like, eh, I don't know when I'm gonna open them for the channel. I didn't wanna do just an opening video. But I guess here we are doing an opening video and a little vlog video. We got four more packs. We got this pack and then three more. Hopefully, secret rare, secret rare. Uh, Marisa Seahorse, good, I'll try I guess. And then win. This could have been a prismatic. This could have been a prismatic. It was just a rare though. But uh, whatever, we did pull an ultra rare and it was Seahorse. I think we did actually pull one more ultra rare. It was the fortune calling or whatever. I'll put the ultras, I'll separate these for you guys right here real quick. So one, we got two super, we got three super, four super, uh, ultra, and then super. Okay, cool. So I'll put that over there. Win is a good rare though, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't even think I had one of myself or for myself. So win's a good rare to pull. Now if I can pull the Prismatic over, that'd be even better. If I can pull the Prismatic Apollo, that'd be the best to be honest. Uh, Dreamer of Terror as another Tenny monster right over here. Were all the Tenny monsters originally in Rising Rampage? I'll show you guys the comments. Were they all in Rising Rampage originally? I think they were. So that means the Shooter should be in here, I think. Oh, if, if I want to pull one, then I want to pull the Vashuda, right? If I want to pull the uh, Tenyas, I definitely want the Vashuda. Okay, so next pack. Is that a Link monster? <gasps> no, okay, Link Mail Archfiend. I was like, ah, oh, it's a Link monster. Can it be Apollo? Okay, Link Mail Archfiend right there. All right, last pack over here. Last pack. Can we pull something good? Can we pull a secret rare? We have three ultras, two ultras, I think. Can we pull a secret rare? Nine packs, last last card. Okay, no, just another super rare. And then this was actually the sneak peek promo as a rare. So I'll put these over here. I'll do a quick recap for you guys. Uh, we did pull the Marine Sess, uh slug wherever she is, a blue sug or seahorse actually, not the blue sug. I keep wanting to say blue sug. We pulled Marine Sess seahorse, which is probably our best pull from these packs. Thank you guys for watching this pack opening. Now, I gotta put these last two packs, one Rising Rampage, as well as one Mystic Fighters onto the pack wall. So, you guys can see me over here? Yeah, hopefully you guys can see me. I checked again, we don't have either Rising Rampage or uh, the Mystic Fighters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put this pack right over here, you guys can see that, right? Yes, I'm gonna put this pack right over here, right through the wall, and that's a Rising Rampage. And then lastly, we do have one more pin, we do have one more pack, and I'm gonna put the pack right over here where Rising Rampage is, or beside where Rising Rampage is, and that will be our Mystic Fighters pack right over there. So the wall is even closer to being complete. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, and if you guys enjoyed this YouTube Cribs, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to check out the Instagram. Make sure to check out the Discord. I'm gonna start live streaming on the Discord before I get on Twitch, because I've never really live streamed before. So I might start doing that on Discord first. Check out the Instagram, check out the Discord, check out Pharaoh Toms and use my affiliate link down below. Subscribe to the channels. Let your other favorite Yu YouTubers do something like this. I want Spank to start this trend and I got nothing else to say so with that spank we'll sign it out peace my hands steady I feel ready but my legs heavy I don't get it how come I haven't hit it already still working I'm still learning I'm still searching finally earning something finally turning something called a profit if I hear you talking shit don't get caught in it I'll be popping off and hit your ass dropping all your shit yeah I promise this I got promises you ain't stopping this cross my shit